Hi, my name is Laura Cox and I am Shield Healthcare's Ostomy Lifestyle Specialist. Today we're going to be talking about sleeping with an ostomy. Sleeping with an ostomy was a little bit more difficult than I anticipated. I've experienced issues such as having to wake up one to two times a night to empty the pouch. I couldn't find a comfortable position. The weight of the pouch was a little bit heavy and woke me up and I had anxiety about having a leak in the middle of the night. Let's talk about securing your ostomy for a more comfortable sleep. Wearing a tighter shirt, tucking the ostomy into PJ pants, or wearing a bando or belly band around the abdomen helps secure the ostomy and make sleep more comfortable. If you normally sleep on your ostomy side, then your ostomy will be supported by the bed. But if you sleep on the opposite side of your ostomy, then you use a pillow to support your ostomy. Some positions are more comfortable with an ostomy than others. If you're a back sleeper, you don't have to change your sleeping behavior after ostomy surgery. If you sleep on the side that your ostomy is on, then the mattress will support your pouch. But if you sleep on the side your ostomy is not on, you can place a pillow to support the weight of the pouch. If you're a stomach sleeper, try bending the leg on the ostomy side. This will keep the weight off of your stoma. Right after surgery, your stomach may be too sore to lie down, so you can try a modified sitting up position. After finding a comfortable sleeping position, there are tips you can follow to help reduce pain. Take whatever pain pill your doctor or your surgeon prescribed. You can also use a heating pad on the low setting. Ideally, it will shut off within two or three hours so you don't burn your skin. You may find that you're up frequently throughout the night after ostomy surgery. For the first couple months, I would set my alarm for every three hours to get up and empty my ostomy or it would get too full and I would have a blowout. As time goes on, your body will adjust to its new functions and anatomy, so you'll wake up less frequently throughout the night. If a couple months later you are still experiencing high output, try to not eat or drink for an hour or two before bed. If you want to ensure that your system is clear, try eating a quick snack 15 minutes before bed. This triggers intestinal emptying. If you're still experiencing high output, you can also use a night drainage bag or other larger ostomy products. Ask your doctor if it's okay to take Imodium and Gas-X before bed to slow down motility. If you have a urostomy, you can use a night drainage system. This consists of a bag or bottle that's connected to your urostomy with tubing. It drains while you sleep so you don't have to get up in the middle of the night. Here are some tips on avoiding leaks. Don't let your pouch get too full. Change your pouching system as according to your doctor or your nurse's directions. If your output is thin, try to thicken it. If your output is too thick and sticky, try to thin it a bit. Some other sleeping tips are to keep your pain pills and water next to your bed. Use a nightlight so if you have to get up in the middle of the night to go to the restroom, you can find your way. You can also use pillows or blankets to splint your stomach to help pain subside. I hope these tips will help you get some sleep. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.